Hey there, everyone, this is Zaukao playing Wario Wing. I probably do not have time to play Wario Wing today, but I don't care. I want to. Oh, yeah, we're just kind of moving through this, huh? Already halfway through Crygore. I remember the paw game being hard. We'll see about the rest. I feel like I don't really remember a lot of the thumbnails all that well. All that well. Wrong way, highway. Ten points only. These drivers have sub-average brains. Wrong way. Fools look out. Except Crygor, like, I feel like I use too much emotion. Uh, because, like, 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 he only ever ends his sentences with periods. Anyways, we're playing kind of outrun here. You got nice little arrows telling you exactly where you need to be. Or rather, where you need to not be. Which, you know, very handy. Uh, you do not benefit from warning arrows back in real life. However, also, in real life, you are able to see in front of you. <laughs> That's a big difference. Why is this... Well, I'm gonna, gonna assume that once the game picks up in speed, it's gonna get, like, real hard. Like, I feel like sometimes... Like, you know, like, there's sort of, like, an art to why games have the amount of points they have. And I feel like that's sometimes why a thing has 10 points. This is because it doesn't scale very nicely with more speed. Except, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, uh... I think I'm going towards a flawless. Look at that. I got a flawless, flawless victory. I got my 10 points on the highway. Driving with infamy in my red car. Just going forward like i feel like i could do this without the warning arrows i, I don't want to like i do not mean to say this as a way to brag i just genuinely think that <laughs> it's not but like i say that but i haven't experienced it and like i'm i keep my eyes on the top of the screen so i will say that yeah having the arrows does mean that you can just kind of focus on the top of the screen and um like, it makes dodging a lot easier because of that. Because, you know, otherwise it'd be like, oh... No, otherwise you'd still be at the top of the screen, probably, because that's where the danger is gonna come from. Anyways, hi, how's it going? <laughs> I'm playing WarioWare, playing the reality games, like, halfway through it. it. It turns out the grid goes a lot faster when it's daily. What a concept, <laughs> I'm aware. All right, uh... All right, we're still not- oh, oh, I got hit there. Okay, it was not a very spectacular crash, I will say. Like, I barely noticed that. Here we go on a highway to New Jersey. Drifting all around the place. Oh, okay, I got hurt there. I- whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, at some point, it was too fast. I could barely control myself. But, you know, that was kind of beyond a 10 point. Not complaining, though. Is this just a MASH game? This is a- yeah, make my clay. 25 points. This is a, there's another mashing game. Sensors indicate an alien life form. Make him grow strong so that he may survive. See, I think that's more of a Kragor voice, and I feel bad for having misrepresented him up until here. Yeah, I remember being befuddled at this game about like, wait, what do you want me to do? Because it says build up. What does that mean to build up? Yeah, it's it's mash, mash to make a clay man. It's not obvious. <laughs> uh, instructions not obvious, but I think like that's part of the thing. And once again, so I feel like maybe playing it in the context of the grid sort of doesn't make this game work. It works because it's unclear and it's weird and it's like what? Like I feel like reality is the game of what. It's the game where interpreting what you're expected to do is a big part of the challenge. And so, yeah, it's kind of, once once you know, that part of the challenge kind of gone. Like, it kind of goes without saying. Uh, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, this one requires, I feel like, more mashing than the fruits require, though. Because you gotta build them up, and now you gotta raise his arms. Eh. I feel like I almost barely make it, but I think there might be a bit more let than I think. Because it's like when he grabs the meteorite, like he shakes, right? And it's it's like, like like if he's suffering from the impact. But if you look at the clock, I'm no like I'm still far away from uh, the bomb exploding. So yeah, I think the shakiness just kind of 
gives uh, it gives this impression that you just barely won, even though you have not just barely won. Is, is what I'm saying. Is what I've been trying to say. And I've eventually said it using those words exactly. <laughs> right, 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 you know, a few seconds ago. In fact, it's pretty good. All right, so I mean, I won for a little bit, but I want to see if I can go for the flawless. Hey, flawless victory. All right, I'm going to slow down now because... I don't have, I, I don't have not the will nor the time to go full monkey. So I'm just gonna, whoa, he wasn't smushed though. What? no, nah, he's the wrong, he's just in front of his body. Come on, you can lose, you can win, computer, you did it. Uh, yeah, this could go a lot further, but I don't want to mash, especially if there's three games still left, like four games still left, in fact, yeah. You could argue that I could have left that for last, but I don't want to. I like to do these in order. Mashin Martians at 15 points. Aliens are coming. Oh, no, aliens are coming. Aliens are coming. Smash them. Smash them. Oh, the terror. See, it's kind of it's funny this way. Okay, I feel I'm, I'm just sad. At, smash too. I'm just sad that it took me until now to realize that that was the intention. Alright, so it's whack-a-mole. Uh, you're allowed to miss, assuming you have enough time to whack whoever ain't, ain't got up yet. I love this claymation! It looks fantastic! Ah, uh, claymation is such a lost art. I don't think it's a lost art, it's just an uncommon art because it's hard to do and it's expensive to do. And you need very specialized, like, equipment and skills, so like, I get it! The claymation is so rad. Alright, pop, 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 pop. So yeah, once you pop a frog from the log, like, you know that no one's gonna pop from there anymore because, like, you got the husk of the claymation frog, like, taking up the whole space. Okay, so, uh, yeah, be careful. There we go. Like, I just wanna make sure that I can win. After that, it's fine. Uh, it's 15, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, 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 yeah, okay. Okay, so now I'm guaranteed to win. Well, especially if I just kind of nail the one after that. All right, fantastic. Uh, uh, uh. This is fun. And I like these because they go a little bit faster. Oh, shoot. I pressed up my act. Yeah, see? That's how they get you. Uh, you press the wrong, wrong one. Sure, you're allowed to try again. But uh, you lose a lot of time. Which matters a lot once we're in... Yeah, see? I did not have time to pop the fourth one. I mean, I probably was just that, you know, there's a slight hesit- well, that counted? I'm shocked. Well, then I pressed the wrong one. Because, like, you need to wait, I need to make sure that I get the right one, right? And that amount of waiting to make sure I get the right one is enough for me to run out of time. This was very, very carefully calibrated to work for 15 points. Here, we're gonna cut a potato. What's your beef? 25 points! Move the knife to cut the steak. Mmm, meat is good. Cut! All right, so this is a mash left and right game. Yeah, we've had that in another one. I think, no, it was maybe in Strange? Wasn't it like basically the same idea? Just, just smash, just smash left and right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you get a little cutscene first to show the meat though, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah, except it was like wood and it was like a thing in it. Or something. Alright, well, let's cut us some meat. So I'm changing how I'm holding the controller because I got one thumb on left and one thumb on right. And then I use the fact that the D-pad sort of serves as a lever, right? And I can just uh, da, 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 push, 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 push. It's a lot faster pressing on each end of the D-pad separately than uh, sliding the thumb back and forth. So, you know, this is a fun little hint you can use in real life. Uh, it wouldn't really work uh, playing the game for real because, like I said, like this is a complete like stance change, right? And that in it itself would take some time. But you know what? It's fine though. It's okay. You're allowed to do that in grid mode. That is the power of grid mode. I like the little cutscene effort. Okay, we are already getting real close though. You saw that. Like I barely cut the meat in level 3. Like the, the meat barely separated itself 
from the whole body. Well, there I did better though, so I guess what I'm saying is that my cutting is not always equal. Also, why are you using a butter knife to cut your steak? Oh, that was enough. All right, scary. That's scary. Also, the thing is just like goopy. I'm gonna assume it's sauce and not blood. Why would it be blood? What? Wow, where'd you where do you get that? I mean, it could be a bloody meat. It's just a big old chunk of you know bloody. It's not a tartare. It's clearly cooked. Oh, cow. There's like actual searing on it. You can see it. What? Wow, that didn't count. Wow, this gets like real hard. Maybe my uh, strap is, is not. Whoa. Well, there, yeah, there I feel like there was like a thumb jam, a thumb traffic jam. Okay, maybe my technique wasn't that good. Alright, I accept it. I still won, but I accept that my technique was not that good. Vudge out! 10 points match the Karag. Match the Karag vegetable hats. You heard me. Match them now. See, I keep, I keep forgetting. Stop! Yeah, it's a roulette thing. It's like, whoa, I want potato. And then the potato has a face. It didn't have a face in the, in the match box, though, so. It's a cor- Let's see again. Big face, but it's not in the picture. But the game gives it to me anyway, so it's pretty good. Tomato. Tomato. I think I use tomato more often. There we go, yellow pepper. So it will go back a little bit if you're late, which is hilariously generous. All right. See, I, I, I'm trying to make sure I can get it on my first try here. Broccoli. Oh, shoot. Hey, last second. Except not last second. It was like maybe one second. Oh, whoops. Uh, it's, no, it's dipped. It's dipped in bread. There we go. Happy tomato. I have no idea. What difficulty is what? Like, what does the difficulties change? I don't think it goes faster, and I don't think the the things are like harder to discern. Whoops, that was too late. I could tell as soon as I pressed the button. I why well, don't know why I pressed the button there. Whoops, that was too late. <laughs> it's kind of hard. I mean, you know, it's just pure timing. Lots of just press the button in time, you idiot. And you know what? Yeah, uh, sometimes I don't press it at the time. Sometimes it goes really fast! Uh, this has been going really well compared to the upper two, but I remember this game being hard. Shake! 15 points. It's a dog. Shake. Shake. Good dog. Is he talking about me or is he talking about the dog in a picture? Oh wow, just, just the worst end immediately. The worst start, I guess you would call that. So yeah, it's a whoa. Why is he does that? Why is his ears his ears down? His ears down. Now he's just doing a little dance. He's doing a little paw dance. Dogs do that. Okay, right, this is a very manic man, manic meticulously learned dance between a dog and its owner here. Just. It's like the little piano key motions. Like, what is that? It's adorable. But, uh, okay, that counts. See, like, I feel like sometimes you have to time things and it's like super precise. And you get other games where you have to time things and it's. You have so much let. Like, it's so generous. I'm not complaining. Well, like, a Z, I feel like there are some games where you, you need to get that and that alone. But it's ugly, you know what? Because it's a game about... Oh no, he's sad! See, when you lose, he cries! He's so sad! I... I don't know if dogs have tear ducts. I don't. Oh, what? Seriously? I need to get this one. Hey! Okay, we won. <laughs> oh, oh, that was scary. I just don't like... Look, man, I... Oh. They're not even photoshopped in the tears. They're, they were added with MS Paint. So I don't know. I don't think the dog is really that sad. Or maybe the dog added the tears himself digitally because he does not have tear ducts. And he wants to express sadness in a way the human would understand. But the thing is, there was no way this session would end with anything but dog tears. Isn't that just cruel? Just if you happen to be playing the games six games at a time, Following them in rows, you are destined to end this session in dog tears. That is so cruel.